I want to talk for a minute about uh, attracting uh, salespeople from other offices. Now, a lot of managers tell me they won't do it. And of course, this is based on your value set. If one of your highest values in life is fairness, then you just won't do it. And so you just keep getting the results you're getting. Uh, but here's what I see. Uh, getting salespeople or anybody, uh, probably managers, anyone with another company that wants to come work for you, is about pot. It's about, about the pursuit of talent. And every industry that you ever look at uh, does exactly this. If American Express wants a brand new world CEO, the first place they look is Visa and see if that guy fits there or that lady fits the bill. If a bank wants to attract a new CEO, they go out to other banks first. It's nuts that we have this, this uh, ridiculous barrier between us and attracting our salespeople to come work with us. Everybody is not happy where they're working. That's the reality. It's quite interesting. I actually, in a class that I run, the, the a three day management program, I actually ask people who has transferred from one company to another for whatever reason. And normally it's two thirds of the class will put their hands up. That's the reality of this. So everyone's not happy uh, for whatever reason. It's nothing to do with you, but it's best. And it's one of the best things you will do as a manager to be on their shopping list. Yeah. So that's all we're talking about. Top people bring to your company more than money. They bring volume, they bring uh, VPA, they bring marketing, they bring experience, they bring inspiration, and they bring cash flow. Yeah. By the way, one of the reasons they will leave, another, it has nothing to do with money. They never change for money. They change for opportunity, they change for uh, the upside, they change from, for going from 300,000 to 600,000, they go for coaching, they go for their own office, there's a raft of reasons why they move. Nothing to do with you except that you should be looking to be the person they're, they're, they're talking to. The idea here is that like any other industry that you get a relationship with these people. You get a pipeline going of, of agents that you're talking to. The 5GA principle applies. That's five gives and an ask. Once you get your pipeline, just keep giving. Say happy birthday. Something good comes on Scripps Club, send it to them. If you get a good audio on the mail, make sure they get it, send it to them. If you're having a trainer in, um, I've, I had uh, somebody just last week in Sydney, 100 people on the room, 10 of those people were possible new franchises. They invited them and said, hey, I'm getting this guy in to talk, why don't you come and listen? You can do the same. I teach all of this in detail on the three-day management program, but in the meantime, just start making some calls and getting on these people's shopping list. Cheers.